Hi, I'm Craig with ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we will be taking a look at your float switch on this Whirlpool built-in dishwasher. Stop! Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. A faulty float switch on this Whirlpool built-in dishwasher can often result in maybe it's overflowing because the float switch isn't being activated. It could be that it's stuck in a continuous drain because it thinks that it's too full of water. You could also be getting some water right around that port on the front. To begin this repair, let's start by removing your kick plate. Click on the link below to view this repair video. Appliancevideo.com guides you step by step giving you the confidence to avoid recalls and callbacks, also saving time on repairs. Whether you're up against an uncommon repair or the latest appliance on the market, our videos have been created with you in mind. Our growing library of videos have been produced using our factory certified technicians who have extensive infield experience over the past 30 years. ApplianceVideo.com provides high quality repair videos that anyone can follow, regardless of their skill level. We are here to help. Click on the link below to view this repair video and let us help you do it right the first time. 